Hello and welcome to Gadget Cafe TV. What we're going to be doing today is we're going to be using our flagship manual classic machine to brew the perfect espresso. To be honest though, if you've got any manual machine, this is how you should be brewing an espresso. We're going to start with the water. The water should be nice and soft. If you will live in a hard water area, you'll want to use a uh, water filter to take out some of the minerals that will bind up your boiler. But here in Halifax, we're lucky enough to have soft water. You want to then let the boiler come up to temperature. You want your water somewhere between 88 and 92 degrees Celsius. The final component of an espresso, we've got water, we've got heat, now we need coffee. Um, if you have an adjustable grinder, you want your grinder, grinder coffee, to be somewhere down in the bottom third of the fineness. Um, what you want is for the, the, the um, grinds to be fine enough so that the water has to work hard to get round them to express the aromatic oils of the espresso, but not so fine that you bung up your machine. Our grinder goes from 1 to 10 on its settings and we're using it around about 3. The coffee that we're using is the 100% Arabica blend from Gaggia. This is a nice smooth, not quite so dark blend, um, but really uh, you can grind up your own coffee beans in any way you see fit. If you get really into your uh, home baristering, you can actually buy a coffee scale, which will measure how many grams of coffee you put into your portafilter. But when you're just starting out, it's enough to know that heaped on into the portafilter is about enough. However, one thing you shouldn't skimp on is the tamper. This is our uh, 300 gram tamper, and it's my very favorite. And it allows you to squish down the coffee beans just like that, which is going to make it hard for the water to be expressed around, which will pull out all of those lovely, um, all of those lovely aromatic oils. You then want to put your water filter into your machine like that. Take your espresso cups, put them underneath, and the ideal espresso shot is pulled in a, somewhere between 21 and 28 seconds. 21 is a little bit on the light side, so you'll get a kind of brighter flavour. 28 allows some of the slightly bitter or aromatic oils to come through so you're going to get a darker, more intense flavour. YouTube. Now the Classic, as it's sold, um, comes with what we call a perfect crema basket, which allows the water to come under slightly more pressure inside the water filter, so your tamping doesn't have to be 100% complete every single time. If you buy a traditional espresso machine, then you're going to want to pay attention to the firmness of your tamp and make sure that the tamper is nice and level inside the water filter so that you don't um, have the coffee come out one side more than the other. It's the single biggest mistake anyone makes at the beginning. And if you've been successful, what you'll have is an espresso with some lovely pale brown crammer on the top that you can enjoy. If you like our video, please hit the like button down the bottom there and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We're going to be putting a lot of hints and uh, coffee recipes and how-to guides about uh, gadget machines onto our channel in the next month or so. So if you want to hear about that or you want to know about any special offers we've got going on, don't forget to visit our website, which is gadgetdirect.com, and enjoy your coffee.